Welcome to another um, demonstration using serigraphs. Uh, my name is Rolando and um, let's get started. So uh, today I'm going to be using this uh, encaustic painting that I did long time ago. Uh, it's, a, it's an encaustic of um, a tree, a cedar tree. So I'm using that as my reference and here I'm I'm drawing the outline of the tree into a, a blank uh, silk screen. I'm using uh, uh, a pencil but it's not so sharp because I didn't want to um, damage the screen. But I'm just laying out um, uh, a, rough, a rough sketch of the tree and just to get the basic uh, shape and composition of the piece. So the, the first layer of ink, I'm using the dark layer, the dark ink, uh, raw umber. Um, it's usually what I'm trying to do here is um, uh, get, the, get the first layer of, of dark ink rather than light uh, layer because the dark ink is the one that closest to the paper. If I, if I were to do the light color first, that would be the, uh, the predominant color that would be laid on the paper. So this, this would be the first uh, layer of ink I would put on the blank screen. <clears throat> Notice that the, um, I predetermined the, um, the border around the, uh, the screen just to encapsulate how, how big the uh, where the borders are of the, of the piece. Again, it's uh, it's a very loose drawing. Doesn't have to be tight. Doesn't have to be um, precise. As long as you get the right composition, um, the right balance, um, the right uh, um, the right mood. Uh, uh, that's all it takes. It doesn't have to be. Uh, uh, doesn't have to be uh, a perfect rendition of the um, of the photograph. As long as you know it's a tree, obviously. So I'm, I'm laying it down fairly quickly. Again, um, I don't want the uh, I don't want the ink to dry up on the screen. So I'm, I'm laying it on fairly quickly and trying to get um, trying to get the uh, uh, the essence of the tree I'm basically drawing the shadows and, and the dark spots so I would clean that's just water I would clean the, the, the brush the silicone brush with water wipe it with red rag and I'm ready to um, to lay on the next color Um, the next layer of color, it's orange. Um, I, it doesn't have to be, uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, the color uh, uh, gives it a slight mood of the tree. Um, it, it, it seems to, um, it seems to give off um, the time of day it was it was uh, drawn in, so it gives it that sense of um, it's almost like a sunset style of the tree because a tree could be uh, could it could change color uh, depending on the day it is. It could be different during the uh, the hottest day. It could be different in the winter time. Um, sometimes it would be uh, fairly rainy. It is a it is a rainy area here on the west coast. So it could it could be more green. So it depends on uh, it depends on again capturing the mood of the piece. Yeah. Here's another angle of the orange. So I just I just keep playing it on. Yeah. Already you can see. Um, 
already you can see an, uh, uh, the basic shape of the tree. Then the green is just an impression of the green. The, um, the inks I'm using is a latest latex ink, um, water soluble pigments mixed with transparent base. Um, it's a house paint, so so it can be uh, you can get it from a paint store. As long as it doesn't dry up too quickly on the screen, um, you're fine. What I like about this latex paint is um, the integrity of the pigments. It's very strong, and <clears throat> as as long as soon as it dries up, um, it doesn't. Um, it it hardly fades, and it's uh, it's gives it a good integrity. It doesn't uh, it doesn't wash away with water. Next, it's the uh, yellow. I pre-mix this inks, by the way, before I do the I do the piece. Um, I try to uh, I try to give it a a nice uh, balance again. Um, next is the blue because um, the orange, the yellow seems to be a, a warm color. So I tried to balance it here and there, just a touch of, of blue. Now, ideally, ideally, well, I would cover all the blank spaces of the screen. Uh, that would be ideal, but, but since I, I know how it's going to turn out, I know what the result will be, um, it gives it that... Um, It'll, it'll cover the blank screen with ink. Here's the last, I think this is the last layer I'm doing. It's purple. So again, that, that warm, that balance of cold and the cool and, and hot into the, into the piece. I have, my, I have the reference beside me, um, the drawing that I did long time ago uh, in encaustic. Um, encaustic is a uh, beeswax painting mixed with pigments and resin. And here we go. I'm ready to uh, use the squeegee. I notice those blank areas where it's just going to wipe with the ink. I just use the 2x4 just to uh, uh, a block of 2x4 just to prop it up. I want to show this uh, this process again in a different angle. And that's the result there. Here's see here's a different here's a here's a different angle of the same of the same process. So notice the uh, the blank spaces, and it gets covered up. And that's it. It's uh, it's fairly simple, and it's fun to do. And um, give it a try. So if you want to see more, subscribe. But uh, no pressure. Um, I think I need about thousands and thousands of subscribers to get somewhere. But uh, here we go. Thanks for watching.